Let's start this one off. How about the battle to kick off this game, TD? Sometimes the opening match on the card, it, it's a little bit of energy. Sometimes uh, it's it's a little bit of a, a lower card fight to let people file in. This is a main event fight with the first game of the day. Yeah, this really could be the main event of any other slate. I mean, I feel like these guys could meet, would meet in the Final 32, Final 16 of any other tournament. And here we go. We get it in the Final 64. I'm excited for it. You're going to see Kratobin here starting with the ball. Carolina Panthers offensive playbook. He loves this gun bunch, but he did say he'll mix in his personnel. You know, sometimes we'll see two tight end, two running back, sometimes three receiver. And he will audible around a little bit. Look for some series to bring heavy blitz on every play. He wants to bring the heat, the kitchen, the stove, the microwave. He wants to bring everything and make it tough for Kurt Tobin to air things out. And you see that? How about first play? A little intentional grounding. Screamer off the edge. You see it first play. Now the story of the game. Will Kurt Tobin be able to pick up that heat? He said he's prepared for it. He's been labbing for it. He doesn't really have a crew, but he has a lot of members of the community. that uh, He said at least 10 guys that have helped him. A lot of big name guys. And some serious. Like I said, he's going to bring that heat every single play. Does Kurt Tobin have an answer for it? You see Kurt Tobin just, just over his right shoulder. You see his jersey from last year. A flex on being the defending Titans club champion. It's basically a second and 20. Davis in motion. It's five drops back to pass. Pressure picked up nicely. Looks over the middle of the field. Low ball, and it's incomplete. Unbelievable drop on a wide open receiver. Unfortunate break right there. Kurt Tobin did an excellent job picking up the heat. He moves that uh, Chad Ochocinco Johnson around, put him on a post route. He only sent two routes out. He blocked everyone, picked it up perfectly, but gets an unfortunate break and already a difficult third and 20 to start the game. Third down and country mile. Be far dropping back to pass. Pressure up the middle. Down goes Farm. So first drive of the game for Kratobin. An incomplete pass and two sacks. He'll have to punt this one away. What a defensive stand from some serious. Yeah, you couldn't ask for a better start if you're some serious. He dialed up the heat. And then on that third and 20, he basically let everyone back in coverage and forced Kratobin to beat him deep. He had a nice little flood route combo, but some serious expecting that. And he forces the early 3-0. As these guys get their audible set up on the other side of the ball, TD, one thing that I think is always used, a word that you use to describe some series, unique. He always brings something different to the table offensively. Yeah, he really does. One of my favorite players to watch. And there's a few guys in the community, and we've named them before, but really, he's at the top of the list when it comes to some different stuff. I remember last year, he really primarily ran spread, shotgun spread only. This year, he is in the Carolina Panthers playbook, so he's going to mix in the bunch, but he really is a spread player. He has great route combos, great spacing uh, within his offense. He likes to have a mobile quarterback. So I'm, I'm looking forward to seeing some big things out of him on offense. Um, it's going to be up to Kratobin now. You know, he said he's prepared for the spread. He said he's prepared for the escape artist. But, man, until you get out there and you and you see something you haven't really seen, it's tough to react to. Yeah, if it's your first time joining us, watching competitive Madden game, first of all, welcome. We welcome in everybody watching on Twitch, YouTube, and our various streaming platforms. You saw that delay of game decline gentlemen's agreement by competitive players to allow them to get their team set up. So that's a commonplace uh, a situation you will see across these competitive bad games first and ten out of what looked like the gun spread halfback week it'll be Reggie Bush picking up two yeah a little read option to start you see Cunningham is his quarterback escape artist like we said so you don't see that often this year we usually see one of those gunslingers like Favre or Josh Allen but he has that Randall Cunningham so some read options I would expect to see maybe some RPOs some fades to the outside some curl flat combos he literally loves this spread he's very comfortable in it Julio, Ocho Cinco, Darren Waller, Terry McLaurin. And an early timeout taken by some serious. Didn't like something he saw uh, from Kurtobin's defense. Yeah, I mean, early in the game, great time to call those timeouts. Remember, some series. He really came onto the scene, Madden 19, Titans Club champion, and he was the last chance qualifier winner back in Madden 19. And he and Kratobin actually knocked out some series later on in the Madden Bowl. So these guys do have a little history. Yeah, some series says he was looking for revenge. He wanted to avenge that loss. Hasn't forgotten it. Terry McLaurin comes in motion from right to left. 
It will be Cunningham dropping back to pass. Only Let's two go! Rock, bath, throw, get up, get up, get up. Harris with the lurk. Can he get up and run? He cannot. We'll go the other way. Chris Harris with the pick. How about Kurt Tobin getting a defensive stop? Way to bounce back for Kurt Tobin. Not sure what some series was trying to do there. It was a little smoke screen, but I think Kurt Tobin had that manned up kind of across the field. I think some series, he looked a little confused that those last two plays. I mean, he called the timeout. He took a while on the next play. I think he might have been confused by Kurt Tobin's defense, and man, Kurt Tobin benefited from it. In trouble. Throwing it left side. Not going to get it inbounds. Yeah, you see him trying to thread the needle there. It wasn't really open. Man, some series bring in the heat. Kratobin only sending out two routes. I mean, he's really max protecting. He even used a motion blocker there to pick up the extra heat. Tried to throw that outside corner out. Nothing doing. Eventful defensive first quarter so far. Pressure off the edge. Down goes Farb. Mills coming off the edge. Some serious set and pressure from every angle. Yeah, you see it there. And Kotobin did the same thing he's been doing. He only sent out two routes, tried to max protect. And, they, you know, that's the thing about these blitzes sometimes. They come in randomly a little bit. So when you're sending the heat, man, if you're Kotobin, I might start thinking about sending out five routes, making quick reads. Looks like some serious in the 1 4 6 here, playing a little more coverage. Quick oh, throw to on, the flat. Bro? And Kratobin <laughs> cannot believe some of the passes that he hasn't completed. Yeah, he's getting a few unlucky breaks here. You know, we saw that post route he dropped earlier, which was a big play. Would have gotten some yardage back. And right there, that little flat route might have gotten him into field goal range. And now he has to punt. So that's another big stand for some serious. A little bit of fluke going his way. Not a great punt. Uh, TD, um, I just got to check. I'm making sure. Uh, yeah, I'm looking at the score, but this is Madden 21. I have not seen a three possession, only taking two minutes off the clock drive since all the way back in Madden 20. <laughs> yeah, and these guys said they were prepared for what each other were going to do, but until you get out on that field, Nick, you never know what's going to happen. Read option again, and boom, what a hit stick right there by Kratobin. So, yeah, just a defensive battle so far. Night Train Lane with the big hit. I love that he has the old style helmet on. It almost looks like it's too big for It almost looks like it's covering his eyes it's like a little Giants helmet. Yeah, I know. It's so cool to see those helmets they used to wear back in the day compared to now. But, you know, I want to see a little bit more here from some series. That first drive, he looked very confused. He was kind of slow, called the timeout, didn't really know what he was doing. He's going to the gun bunch here, so we haven't seen this yet. He's been in the spread. Now he's going to – let's see what he has in the bunch. Back to Bush. Positive yards this time. He'll get back the two he lost and pick up another two. It'll be third and eight. Titty, it's not shaping up for the offensive shootout that I think we might have thought it was going to be. Yeah, I really thought it might have been that. You know, both these guys known for their offense, uh, especially some serious. He's really known as a unique, prolific offensive player. Both guys were very high in their scoring rank coming in, but, man, defensive battle. Cunningham, third and eight, left side. All right, so now for the people at home that might be confused, that's called a first down. We just had our first one of the game. Yeah, the offense first. really picking up now, Tyler Davis. <laughs> first, first down. I think that right there was important to note right there because lately what we've seen in the competitive scene is these curl routes. They are back. They are really effective right now. When you, all you want to do is throw a low ball pass, click on, aggressive catch it. They're very difficult to stop, especially in man-to-man -man coverage. Some serious ghost that on a crucial third down conversion. Back to the spread. Great option. Bush picks up three. I mean, listen, it's only four carries. But this read option doesn't seem particularly effective against Kratoba's defense. No, it doesn't. Not at all. But I like it from some series. You want to stay balanced. You don't want to get one-dimensional. Um, he's sticking to it, but you might need to find a couple better runs because uh, that read option, Kratoba's all over it. Still scoreless here. First game of the day, full day of action in the AFC South. We're so happy to have you along with us. Nick Mazesco, Tyler Davis. The defense is standing tall in this game so far. Second and seven. And he's into the bunch. Some serious rough. Some serious trying to run meta and takes a delay a game. Yeah, and he's sign. looked a Nick, he's looked a little I don't want to say slow, but he's looked he's he's taking a lot of time with his play calling. You know, he's getting down to the last second. 
I'm not sure if he's confused for what he's seeing, but it just seems like he's moving very slowly with his play calling and when he gets to the line. McLaurin in motion. Got Mostert wide left. That's Cunningham. Three man rush. Come on, bro. TD, uh, listen, I don't know if you, uh, we have, but if you haven't been here watching a lot of these competitive Madden games, the number one ability that's been almost on every quarterback is gunsling. That throw right there is an example of when you don't have gunsling. Exactly, Nick. You nailed it. If that's gunslinger, that's a conversion, and that's a first down because the curl route was open, but without that gunslinger ability, it's not, it'll get in there as fast as he wants it to. Oh, that is the Diamond catch made, but it's short of the line of the game. Fourth and short. You'd say decision time, but this is no decision. Some serious looks like he's bringing the offense back out of the field. Fourth and inches. That was a nice play right there, that little dig route. He had Mostert out there who actually burned his man. You see that this year. Mostert is burning some of the best man-to-man -man DBs. Um, but fourth inches, he's going to go for it now. It's a big play in the game for both guys. I would expect him to stick to the, to the passing game, but everything in the playbook is open. Fourth and short. Cunningham. Let's go. Trying to Come hit on, that curl go route. Go Man, if I'm cheating me, fool. Come on. TD, I'm wondering. Like, again, it's early in the game, but I'm wondering. Is it possible to run a passing offense in Madden 21 without Gunslinger? I, I don't think it is. I don't think it is. I think if you want to pass pretty much every play what both these guys are doing, you're going to need Gunslinger. It just is such an added ability this year. You get the ball way faster in there. Without having it, your passes are too slow, and you've seen it. It's been, it's, it's paid dividends uh, in a negative way here for some series so far. Look over the top. Out He's got him. That's oh. Chad Johnson to the 15-yard line. First completed pass for Kratoba. He's inside the red zone. Big time dot right there. Crossing route over the middle. And, Nick, if you remember back when we saw young Tony playing yardstick in the Chiefs championship, uh, Yardstick was bringing heavy heat every single play, just like some series is doing. And Tony started to go into that crossing route out of gun bunch that was working. And you see Kurtobin did the exact same thing right there, lobbed it over the top oh, for I'm a big saying. play, and now he's in the red zone. I mean, young Tony, of course, one of the great Madden minds. So that's a pretty good guy to follow the lead of. First and ten. Go to a little eye formation. Oh, yep, nowhere God. to go there. Is that AP with the carry? We'll lose four. Phenomenal run defense right there by Sarius. Standing up for himself. But I don't. I like the play call by Kratobin. You know, he's looked. he's just been passing every single play. What got him to that championship back in Madden 19 was he was balanced. And that was a passing game as well. But he stayed balanced, brought him to that championship. So I want to see Kratobin stay a little bit more balanced. But he is comfortable in that gun bunch here going back to it. <laughs> Second down, here comes the pressure, and once again, another intentional grounding. You wonder how many more of those Kratobin is going to take until he changes the game plan. Yeah, you got to be careful now. You know, one more of those, and you might be out of field goal range. So if you're Kratobin here, third and 24, the way you're playing defense, I might just hand the ball off. Maybe a little outside zone, try to get outside of this this uh, kind of pinch 3-4 defense and, and get into field goal range. You see some series going back to the 1-4-6. But yeah, a little audible down here. Just get your run, get and get your field goal off. Take the lead the way you're playing defense. He does hand the ball off. I, I mean, it's it's weird to say how we okay, saw this game okay. going pregame, but <clears throat> three nothing could win it the way yeah. these defenses are playing. Yeah, it looks like it. You know, just complete opposite of what we thought. Kicks up and it's good. First points of the game with 4.02 on the clock in the second quarter. 3 nothing to the defending champ looking to go back to back. So take a knee in the end zone. Defense is standing tall so far. Some serious back out on offense. TD, it hasn't been pretty. Uh, it mainly, I mean, again, it, it, we're going to keep harping on it. That lack of gunslinger has cost him a couple first downs. Yeah, it's really been huge. It's really hurting him so far. I want to see a little more juice here out of some series' offense. You know, he said he's been playing bad so far, and he has. You know, a couple unfortunate breaks with those low balls and the curls, but 
He's got to get something cooked up here. I want to see him with a little more tempo, too. He's just kind of playing laid back, get something going. Yep, how about a sack? How about some defense from Kratobin Jackson? Tagging out Randall Cunningham. Escape Artist doesn't help when the pressure's there immediately. First time we've really seen Kratobin dial it up. Escape Artist not even as close as good to last year. You know, rolling out's not even the same. Um, it's, it, that Gunslinger is kind of costing him right now. The Whoa, heat's coming. Get to him. Come on. And now you're starting to hear confident Kratobin. All of a sudden, finding some defense. Come on, grab and it, grab it, grab it. Out. Get it sit there for get anyone to take it. Get in Let's go. Take the easiest four Let's yard go, stroll man. to the house. Kratobin, offense ah, might not please. be rolling, but the defense puts up points. He takes a two score lead. Oh boy, Kratobin really dialing it up now. The last few plays of that drive, bringing the heat, sack, fumble, four yards in the end zone. Kratobin with the two possession lead. Hey, bro, I got this shit conservative, bro. Kick is away. My, how this game has changed in the last about 40 seconds. Sanders will take the knee. Take a look at this one more time, TD. The pressure right down Broad Street. Yeah, bring it all. Bring them all. Bring six and seven guys. They come clean, and he walks into the end zone untouched. Well, what sort of response does some series have? Ah, oh, damn, do I see it? Nothing really working so far, but a nice start to the drive to the 46-yard line. Let's see if Randall Cunningham can make some plays into the bunch. Goes some serious. Near the two-minute warning in the first half. And it is Cunningham dropping back to pass. And he's got the left side of that corner out again. Tight coverage. I mean, no way. Julio can't come down with that one. Man, he's honestly some serious is missing reads. Even on the sack fumble, he had the flats open. He could have got some yards back. He had the little out route on the play before. And then right there, he had the drag coming across. I think this pressure got to him a little bit because he does have things open. He's just got to sit in the pocket and make some reads with Randall Cunningham. Tackles, tackles, tackles. There's Waller, I'm quick throw. Finally through. seeing a little bit of the quick throw game. TD, I feel like both these guys may be stretching their vision too far downfield. Yeah, good point. You know, they do have some of the underneath stuff open. I've seen some flats. I've seen some drags, some in routes. They got to stick, you know, to the game plan. Oh. Check down. Don't you try to go deep every play. That's a recipe for disaster. Take your underneath stuff. Work the way down the field and, and, and get some points on the board here, especially if you're some serious. Four Cunningham. There's the escape artist. We've been waiting to see oh, when escape artist would come into play. Finally, some serious scrambling with Randall. He invested that AP into that escape artist. You might as well use him. Takes it up the middle, gets a nice first down. Goes a little tempo here now to that read option RPO. I like it. I want to see some serious, you know, getting a groove on offense. Get a couple completions, run the ball a little bit, get that momentum going. Looking like he's using a little more tempo. User, uh -oh. user, that, that, get out of there, Night Train. Pick up the block. Night Train Pick up lane, the turn out the ah, lights on some serious. Another interception for Kratobin, now in firm control. Great oh, user oh, pick by Kratobin. That route was going to be open. It was man to man. He, his receiver burnt the man, but then Kratobin came over with another player with his user. Gets a huge pick six by Night Train, or excuse me, just an interception by Night Train. And now he's up by two possessions with ball. Great defense right there by Kratobin. The defense, Christian well, Lomenzo making plays. Over. He'll snap this ball. Well, Pressure picked up nicely. He's looking for that crosser trying. again. Looks and he's got works. him one Looks more cool. time to the 24-yard line. He's in a groove now. Looks like Ritobin found a little recipe for that heavy blitz. If he can just pick up that pressure, which he did, you know, it's been kind of 50-50. If he can pick up that heat, he has things open. He rolls out right there. Far gunslinger, crossing route, big time play. Get out of there, AP! Let's go! And AP! Little shimmy shake in the hole to the house. Kratobin, all of a sudden it was scoreless after one. It's not scoreless anymore. 
The former belt winner has broken it open, 17 nothing. I like the play call, just audibles to a little wide trips, power O. Adrian Peterson, the legend, up the middle. Nice, tu nice touchdown, goes untouched. These last three minutes, TD. We thought we might not see any scoring. Now, 17 nothing, all set up by Kratobin's defense. Scoop and score, and then a pick. It turns into this touchdown from AP. Yeah, just a little swerve right there. Follows his blocker, gets in the end zone. Kratobin fired up, rightfully there, so. AP. 17 Let's go! First down and 10. Some serious needs an answer. He'll give it to Reggie Bush. I think the first time we've seen that read option actually break for a big run to the 47-yard line. Yeah, you know, we had a boring start, and we've had some fireworks here lately. This is a big drive in the game for some serious. You know, these last three minutes, you know, probably some of the worst three minutes of his Madden career as far as how it's gone, but there's plenty of time to bounce back. Breaks a nice big run there. Now, if you're some serious, only one timeout. So, at the very least, you need three points here to stay alive. Um, obviously a touchdown will be great, but you're working against the time. So just try to get into field goal range, get those points, and get down by two possessions going into half. Cunningham on first down. I mean, come right on. side. Wow, Waller not in bounds. Gonna be a second and ten. Crucial mistake right there, Nick. He didn't go with the possession catch. He went with the rack uh, catch, and that cost him because if he would have possession caught it, he would have caught it and got out of bounds. Uh, bad mistake right there by some serious. Now trying to take off with Randall. But the Kratobin defense, led by the former Colt, Dwight Freeney, shutting down that plan. Hurries back to the line on third and 13. Well, Cunningham back to pass. Stepping up in the pocket. Tackles, tackles, tackles. That looked like four three. curl routes in a flat. Three. Yeah, he goes with he goes with curl flat right there. Pretty much stock <laughs> curl flat. Two Keep flat routes, two curl routes. The running back on a little delay route. Now fourth and inches. That was unfortunate for some serious because you got to convert this, but you got to get out of bounds. Also, you probably could go one time in the middle and spike it and kick your three. Big play in the game right here. Cunningham Tackles. stepping Let's up. Go. That short is not gonna get there. <laughs> Night train lane Maybe? might be Come the on. player of the game for Kratovin's defense. For Tobin's defense has stepped up. And the one thing about the spread offense, so you don't easy, have any bro. blockers on the line okay. like you would in a gun bunch. You oh, can't I'm block sorry. that tight end. For Tobin recognizing that, just bringing the heat, and some series has no, had no answer for the blitz. First and 10. AP again. AP trying to find out. some room right side. Down. But nowhere to go. Picks up three for Kratoba, though. All he's thinking about, just get this to the second half. Three score lead. TD, he's got to feel like he's in great shape. He feels great, especially the way he's playing on defense. He could be a little aggressive here, but you don't really want to risk anything. Go up 17 nothing and a half. We'll see if he maybe takes a shot. But you just don't want to get like a strip sack fumble to the house to put some serious back in the game. This, this time where wild. every Madden player is just going, no fluke. No fluke. Favre dropping back. Blitz picked up nicely. He'll the corner there. Ocho go. Cinco! Ocho Cinco to the house! Okay, go, how's that man. for a response? Put your Johnson. floaties on. Use your better get the life jacket. It's 23, Skunk! There's a reason why pretty much everyone has Chad Johnson on their squad. It shows you why right there. Just out route, breaks a tackle, and goes Go to the house. And we have Blowout City here in the first half of the Titans Club Championship. 24 to nothing. It was 0-0 zero, zero at the end of one. And one of these players still has zero. Unfortunately, the other one's put up 24 unanswered. One more time. Simple corner out, just no tackling. Yeah, just a corner out right on the cut. Chad Johnson was good coverage, but Chad Johnson just a beast. Breaks the tackle and goes to the house. Kratobin. Dominance right now. No tackle. Let's go to half. Enough baby. to Bush. Nowhere to go. And we pause we'll again, go right, Tyler? Half time. Okay. TD. What can some series do in the second half to get back into this game? 
Man, he's going to get the ball, so he, but he's got to get seven on this drive. You see him putting his head down. He's upset with how he's played. And though, though that that second quarter is probably the worst second quarter some series has played in his bang career. For Tobin, so much defense, and he's looked dominant in the second quarter. After two, the defending champ in firm control. 20 Four to nothing. Kratobin with the lead over some serious looking. Put some respect on his name. You know, these Titans, they got King Henry. Well, they're about to have a King. What looks like Kratobin. Game's not over yet. They're going to get, winner of this game will get a custom Titans crown. They'll get to walk around like royalty, TD. I'd be wearing that everywhere if, if I could go anywhere right now. Oh, man. Imagine wearing that out, showing that off to your friends. That is some nice stuff right there. It's pretty cool looking, man. I want to wear something like that. You know, King Henry, now we might have a King Kratobin. King Christian. Look at over the middle, caught by Bush. It will be some serious with the ball first. And TD, you know, talking about some serious, he gave a lot of credit to his crew for the preparation coming into this game. He labs with some real goons in the Madden Coon. Yeah, he really does. You know, as we see a little. Ooh, Night train? Just, I didn't man, even want to put you, know, you in. But, you know, I know he likes to I love to the run, way so some series plays. You know, very top. unique. But some of those play calls, man, a little RPO read option right there, blown up in the back with that scary stuff. Third and five, now going back to the curl flats. Tackles, tackles. I need to have that all Moore. freaking game. Yeah, back to some serious crew. Live with guys like Pro Legend. I mean, one of the guys who uh, you see in just about every turn of that BOM crew, the Brothers of Madden. Uh, you know, they, they prep. And a lot of these guys, the biggest thing that they have is a ton of experience on their side. Yeah, tons of experience. Legend has been around forever. McKinley Status, who's a former club champion, great player. you got a guy like Big George, great player as well. And they always all play so unique. Oh That's what God. makes them difficult. They always have a unique scheme they bring to the table. So some great players right there to lab with. Unfortunately for some series, it's not turning out well. But he's looked better on this drive, and he does have some time. He's got to get it moving. That angle route again. Oh, Acrobat can't make the play. Reggie Bush down to the 28-yard line. And for the second time today, some series has worked his way inside the 30. Unfortunately, the first drive that he did that on, it ended in a pick. You see that Reggie Bush with that backfield master. A reason why he's on pretty much every team as well. You match him up with a linebacker or a safety, and you can throw that pretty much all day long on the angle route. Nice pickup right there for some series. Looking much better here to start the second half. Todd Heatman motion to the right side. Just snaps it before the play clock runs out. And he's going to take another sack. Dwight Freeney once again getting free in the middle. Tries to go to that slant post combo. But, man, you see the, you see those DNs right there for Kratobin. I mean, they are coming at Randall Cunningham's head right now. They're lighting up. And he's just had no DRC, answer for, for the on. blitz and for these outside DNs. Right there. Trying to give Kratobin a taste of his own medicine, looking for that corner out, but DRC out there swatting that one away. Third down and 12. Randall Cunningham trying to lead a comeback charge. Look left side, he's got him open. That's Ocho Senko first down to the 14 yard line. Big play on third down for some series. Good patience right there. Just waiting for the drag, coming from the right to the left. He's had these underneath routes kind of all game. He's just he's just really been looking down the field too much. Goes underneath there, and he's in the red zone. Now this is where it gets tough to score. If you're some serious, you kind of need to score and go for two. Cunningham, he's going to take off. Escape bar is trying to make a play. He'll take a hit. Doesn't fumble the ball and gets down to the three-yard line. Scary right there. Going some tempo. Maybe a little read option inside zone right here. Just try to punch it in versus that one four six. And he will get into the end zone. All right, some series is on the board. Step one of the comeback train is Reggie Bush into the end zone. Yeah, could we see one of the greatest comebacks in MCS history? I mean, it's going to be tough. He's going to go for two. This is the right decision because if you get this two, you make it a uh, two-possession game. We need two touch. You're going to need a lot of two-point conversions, Nick. That's the one problem he's going to have here. See what he cooks up. See if he can't put a. Two on the board, making a two-score game. Looking right side, he's got Waller, and he will pick Man. up the two. Boy, it is amazing. You know, you don't, because you don't see too many guys not running Gunslinger, 
So you don't really realize how big a difference it is, but that throw right there, I went, there's no way it gets to Wall. He made the catch, but Randall Cunningham, it is amazing to see the difference between one ability. Yeah, it's such a big difference. You see it right there, just back of the end zone, little corner route to the back of the end zone. Nice possession catch. And that there is a huge difference from that gunslinger to the escape butters. I think personally the gunslinger is the number one ability you need in Madden 21. It just helps you so much if you want to pass the ball in mutt. And it's been a big difference in this game. I think we've seen it. You know, Kratobin, he's had those kind of those close passes that he's gotten off getting in there because of the slinger. And then on vice versa, some serious, it's been hurting him when he can't, hasn't been able to squeeze it in there uh, with something like Gunslinger. So I think we've seen the big difference on why you need that Gunslinger in this game. You know, and Ty, even though he's in great position up by 16, there is a danger. We've seen it a lot of times of taking your foot off the gas pedal, getting a little too conservative. And, I mean, this is only a two-score game. Yeah, great point. And Kratobin has not looked great on offense, to be honest. You know, he's got a couple big plays off of, you know, close, tight windows. So if some series get like a strip sack fumble, he'd be right back in this game. How about a diving catch to the 36 yard line? Keeps that clock moving and picks up a first down for Kratobin. Madden 19 challenge champion. <laughs> On that DC belt, really came out of sort of nowhere, Ty. I, I don't remember a whole lot of hype around Kratobin coming into that tournament, but he looked really good back in Madden 19. Yeah, he did. Really came onto the scene. You know, he only started playing competitive Madden in Madden 17, so he hasn't been around that long. Really had that. Honestly, it was kind of a Cinderella story in Madden 19. No one expected him to, to even uh, make a run. He made a run, ended up winning the belt, beating Drini, who we'll see later in the finals. Uh, you know, robbing Drini of that third belt. And, man, Kratobin really na made a name for himself that year. Then last year came back. He said he was two games away last year in the challenge and in the classic for making the live event. And then he was the Titans Club champion. Had that crazy game with Lil' Man, who we'll see later today, in the final 32, I believe, that went to overtime or last play of the game. So Kratobin had a good year last year. It wasn't like he was a one-year wonder at all. And we see him back here in Madden 21. Fours up in the chat. We're going to go to the fourth quarter. Kratobin in great position. Some serious not out of it yet. 24 to 8 to the defending champ. Looking to become two time. Second and 11, Brett Favre. Hasn't had to do a whole lot. But he's made a couple key throws, including one to Chad Johnson. Boy, how different does this game look? As far he's got him wide open down the field. That's Ocho Cinco ah. again. Not a great animation, but who cares? Into the end zone. <laughs> Touchdown, Kratobin. He can't be stopped. Yeah, crossing route just uncovered. You see some serious. He, he, I think he blitzed nine right there. He brought the outside corner. He, he's just taking chances, gambling. Kratobin takes advantage, steps to the left, and just lobs the wide open crossing route. And Kratobin looking like he's going to go on to become a two time Tennessee Titans club champion. I was going to say before that touchdown to Ocho Cinco, how different does this game look if Kratobin doesn't get that touchdown with eight seconds left in the first half? It was 17 nothing touchdown by some series. It's, it's a 10 point game, but now giving this one up, I mean, it, the, the biggest issue isn't whether he can score because I think some series has found an offense that's working, but there's just not enough time. No, there's not. Some series brought nine defenders right there blitzing. So he only had two defenders out there. Kratobin only sent out two routes, but some serious user was lacking. He wasn't covering the crossing route. And Kratobin took advantage. Cunningham goes down once again. Full day of action here in the AFC South. Little man and Spoto fighting for the Colts club. Drini and Jay Wolfman fighting for the Jags club and <clears throat> Wesley in action taking on Jago. Uh, what a, I mean these are three really good games to follow this one up. Yeah without a doubt I mean Spoto and Lil Man we won't even have to say a word Nick that's going to be entertainment uh, at its fullest I can't wait for that one and then we're going to have pretty much two big uh, favorites underdog type matchups and we saw what happened earlier in the Dolphins Club Championship with Blocky and that boy so we could see something like that again but those are going to be three big time matchups Rumble, bro. come on 
Don't you love – I mean, that's such a Madden player thing to say. You're up 31-8 to eight in the fourth quarter. You're still begging for fumbles. Oh, yeah, he wants it all. He wants another one to end this game. You don't want to give any life to your opponent, so, and that'll do it right picked there. Picked off. It's DRC down the sidelines. 25, 20, 15, 10, 5. Touchdown. User, I hope you've got some, some something to keep your head above water because the the flood is pouring right now. I was about to say the same thing. User's going to get that jacket out, the life vest, because the floodgates have, have opened 38 to 8. Kratobin, just dominant defense. I don't know how it works, uh, but I, I I think he might have handed that, that life jacket over to, to Mo. I think Mo picked some serious. Uh, and this game, that it, listen, looked like a scoreless game, but Kratobin's defense over and over again has been making big plays, two defensive touchdowns, uh, not to mention another pick that turned into a touchdown on the next drive. I mean, this game might have been over in the second quarter. Yeah, and I'm sorry to user. You, that's right, user did pick Kratobin. User, I'm sorry. Don't uh, don't slander me in the post show, but yeah, Kratobin. User, just... slander him. <laughs> I got made a turkey last show. You better slander <laughs> Tyler Davis. We need some equal opportunity slander. Oh my God, my user is too crazy that to just get aggressive. Paul, there's just there's no way. Kratobin, Kratobin there's, begging there's no for way. more. He wants it all. I mean, 38 to eight, and he wants another pick. First and ten. Cunningham. Yeah, Outside of the pocket. That escape artist. Hasn't done him a whole lot of good. No, it hasn't, man. You know, I honestly think if, you know, the thing about some is he wants to mix in the read option and be able to roll out. So I get that. But, man, I think if he would have had Gunslinger, he would be able to get a lot more of these passes off and would have had more success. So it's a tough call. I know he probably feels more comfortable with the, with the escape artist. And he can't go against how you feel, but... I think the gunslinger definitely could have helped him. Get out of bounds with Bush. Picking up a couple. 13 to 22, 179, but the three picks. Lose the turnover battle, lose the game, especially when two of those picks go for touchdowns. Yeah, and Kratopin didn't look good on offense, really. You know, he didn't need it, though. It was just all defense. You could tell he looks very prepared for this some serious offense, and it paid off. Over the middle. Fine, McLaurin to the 31, and you know, not only for winning, you know, the Titans Club going back to back, but this is a statement from Kratobin that you know people need to keep their eye on this guy as we get to the final 32 in January. Oh yeah, man, he's very consistent, like we said. Nice little dot right here, but yeah, Kratobin, like we said, he just came onto the scene, Madden 17, and he's been very consistent. I mean, uh, winning the belt really on his first big tournament. Can't ask for a better start to your career than that. And then you come back, have a solid Madden 20, and here he is Under, back in Madden 21, getting a fumble and becoming the Titan baby. champion. Five turnovers, baby. Defense. I, when it, like, it, seriously, like, when it rains, Defense, it pours. Baby. He's, like, standing in a swimming pool right now while it's pouring, I mean, while his on, house is flooded. Kratobin's going to look to just chew this clock out and get out of here with a win. <laughs> and plus, he gets the crown. He gets to wear that crown around. King Christian. King Christian, King Kratobin, call him what you want. But, man, if he plays defense like that when we get to the final 32, and this AFC South could be potentially one of the best divisions as well, but if he plays defense like this, it'll definitely be difficult to beat. Let's go, man. I, I, I feel go. like King Lomenzo has a real ring to it. Feels good. That's Let's fucking go. Really rolls off the tongue. You see the emotion coming out. He's fired up. Back-to-back -back Titans Club champion. Very difficult to do, and he does it. I'm happy for the young man. Big-time win in GGs. dominant fashion. Ninis and GGs. This one, a no-doubter. 38-8. to Kratobin is your back-to-back -back Tennessee Titans champion. Ty, it, listen, offense didn't have to do a whole lot. Took a little bit to get going, but once Kratobin locked in defensively, he really put a lot of pressure on some series and forced some key turnovers. It wasn't pretty, but anytime you can get five tournaments in a $5,000 game, you're going to be successful. And he did just that big time win for Kurt Yeah.
I mean, and, and a tough loss for some series. You know, we know how good of a player some series is, a former club champion. This just seems like one of those games where everything went wrong. There was really nothing positive to take away. It seems like those are the games that are easiest to forget. Yeah, and I think he'll look back and wonder, maybe I should have went to Gunslinger because he didn't use the escape bars that much. You know, he only ran a few read options. He only scrambled a couple times. I think the Gunslinger could have made a difference, but um, he probably he felt confident and trusted the escape bars. But, man, 38-8, to eight, tough day at the office, and big win for Kurtzobin. Well, let's bring in the now back-to-back -back Titans Club champion, former belt winner, and... Man, he's got to get got to get to wear a pretty sweet crown. It is Kratobin. Crick, congratulations, man. Talk about that thank defensive you, performance. You. Seemed like things didn't really get started smoothly, but once you hit that second quarter, the defense took off. Yeah, so, I mean, I can just go over the game. So, at the start, uh, I got sacked on the first play. Uh, I don't know why the dude came in. Then I dropped the pass, had to punt, got stopped again. We were just getting stopped. And um, then I eventually got three. I just... Just, but um, as the game went on, I feel like the most pivotal points in the game were those fourth and inches where he passed on two different fourth and inches, and I came up and got the stop on both times, which was, like, really important. I feel like that was the turning point of the game. And, you know, um, I just ended up pulling it out on defense, and then my offense started clicking. Uh, everything that I – I was doing the same stuff, but for some reason it wasn't working at the start. But then as the game progressed, I, I turned it up on offense. And also before half, I got a – relatively lucky catch on the man-to-man -man corner route and go to the crib he was running a wild defense you know he had everybody stacked on the line of scrimmage and I just tried to take a shot deep and put the lead that much further yeah well you went back to back a big win and we have a very special congratulations for the from the Tennessee Titans on your win today hey cry Tobin it's Derek Henry Congrats to you for hey. winning the Titans Club Championship. What's up, Derek? Look forward to you representing at the Club Championship Finals. Enjoy that crown. It's fit for a king. Thank well, you. King thank Henry you. sends his congrats, and you're going to get a crown of your own. This custom crown. Titans crown will be sent to you. Are you going to wear that to, like, the club? Are you going to wear that to the family reunions? Where, where are you going to rock that crown? You know, see, I, I got the belt from 19. I didn't really wear that, but... The thing is, my relatives, they love it, so they might want to wear it. But, you know, a crown, that just sounds glitchy. So I might have to wear that, you know, uh, when I go out sometime or something just for jokes. Well, congratulations, man. You are the back-to-back -back Titans Club champion. We will see you in January in the final 32 as you start your quest for a second 